We are in the process of enhancing our advanced digital TV services. In doing this, some customers will now need to add a simple digital adapter on any TV that doesn't use a traditional Sunlink cable set-top box or Sunlink cable card. Digital adapters are available to Sunlink customers for every TV set in their home that requires one. There's no upfront cost and no monthly charge. By installing the Sunlink digital adapter, you will gain access to Sunlink Advanced TV, featuring a sharper picture, higher quality sound, and in some cases, new channels. And of course, this is provided at no additional cost to you. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to connect this digital adapter to your TV sets. First, open your kit and confirm that you received all the parts shown here. Materials include digital adapter, power cord, remote control with instructions, two AA batteries, external remote control signal receiver, two hook and loop fasteners, DTA quick start guide, coaxial cable. Take your existing cable line coming out of the wall or floor and disconnect that line from the TV set it's currently connected to. Make sure to note where you are disconnecting it from since you will later connect another cable line in this same spot. Now, plug that existing cable line into the back of the digital adapter on the plug marked Cable In. Next, take the short cable line from your kit and connect it to the back of the digital adapter on the plug where it's marked 2TV. Connect the other end of that short cable into the TV set on a plug marked Cable In RF In. This is the spot you made note of where your cable line was previously connected to your TV set. If you use a VCR or DVD recorder on this TV set, it's just as easy to connect those devices as well. Simply take your existing cable line coming out of the wall or floor and disconnect that line from the DVD recorder or VCR it's currently connected to. Then connect that cable line into the digital adapter where it's marked cable in. Next, take your new coaxial cable and connect it to the plug marked 2TV on the digital adapter. Plug the other end of the new coaxial cable into the RF in plug on the back of your DVD recorder or VCR. Your DVD recorder or VCR should still be connected to your TV set. Next, take the digital adapter's power cord. Connect the round end of that power cord to the digital adapter on the input marked plus 5V DC in. Plug the other end of the power cord into a working electrical outlet, extension cord, or surge protector. Make sure the outlet is not controlled by a switch that is frequently turned on or off. Next, set the switch on the back of the digital adapter to 3. In some parts of the country, you may need to use channel 4. If you don't get a picture after completing all of these steps, switch both your TV set and digital adapter to channel 4, then follow the on-screen directions. Please note, your TV set may then scan for available channels. Now you'll need to program your new Sunlink remote that came with your digital adapter so you can control your TV's power and volume. To do this, simply turn on the TV set and pick up the new Sunlink remote control. Press and hold the set button on the remote until the red light of the remote blinks twice. When it does, then enter the numbers 991. After doing that, the red light on the remote should again blink twice. Point the remote at the TV set. Press the channel up button multiple times until the TV set turns off. If pressing channel up for about a minute does not turn your TV set on, then please refer to the programming TV control section of the instructions that came with your new digital adapter remote control. If your TV set does turn off, then press the set button on the remote control one time to lock in that code. The red light on the remote control will blink twice more. Now, press the power button to turn on your TV set. Please note, the digital adapter will always stay powered on. Now this digital adapter remote control will become your primary remote control for changing channels, volume, and for powering your TV set on and off. There's one additional step you can take if you want to do so, but this is completely optional. You can hide the digital adapter behind your TV set and use a much smaller remote control signal receiver in front of your TV to receive signals from your remote control. To do this, simply plug the smaller end of the remote control signal receiver into the IR in port on the back of the digital adapter. Make sure the digital adapter is in a stable place. 
peel the adhesive backing off of the other end of the signal receiver. Then, position that end of the signal receiver on your TV set facing forward. That's it. We hope you enjoy your Sunlink Advanced TV. Thank you for being a Sunlink customer. If you need any help installing your digital adapter, please call our customer hotline 1-877-872-9131. Sudden Link, you're connected.